Welcome back, heat makers. I'm BJR. Today we're cooking up on BandLab for our project on how to record a theme song. My boy Jimmy Flames is about to show us just how to record anything. Let's get it. Thanks, BJR. Big shout out to you, and big shout out to Iron for producing today's amazing theme song, All Day. Available right now over at Bandcamp or wherever you get your digital music. All proceeds benefit music education in Baltimore City. I'm Jimmy Flame from Media Rhythm Institute, and today we're in Band Lab, where we're gonna learn how to record and share just about anything using Band Lab's free online DAW in just four easy steps. But before we hop in, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification button, that way you stay on the loop on everything coming out of MRI Studios. From work produced by our music scholars to these handy tutorials, hit that button now. Let's go on into Band Lab. All right, we're here at bandlab.com, and if you haven't already, you're gonna to need to sign up for an account in order to get inside, and doing that is pretty straightforward. You hit the sign up button here at the upper right-hand portion of the screen, sign up, provide a name, the email, password, you hit sign up, and you simply come back to bandlab.com to log in. If you need more instructions on how to do this, please feel free to check out the links that we have in the description of this video. And for now, I'm gonna hit log in Log in with my credentials. You can find me on BandLab at JimmyFlame77. And voila, the first thing you're gonna notice is that BandLab is set up a lot like any other social media that you probably already have, except for one caveat. This is geared towards musicians. And because today we're learning how to record anything with BandLab's free online DAW in four easy steps, which are how to create a track, we're gonna arm and record it, we're gonna save the recording, and then we're gonna share it right here on BandLab. So let's just get to step one. Step one. Go to the upper right-hand portion of the screen, if you're on a desktop, and click Create. This will bring you to your first screen where you're gonna see a number of options. You're gonna see instruments, drum machines where you can make your own beats, a sampler where you can use your own sounds, or you have some direct plugins like bass and guitar. Today we're gonna to use the voice mic, so let's click on voice mic, and boom, your first track is automatically created. But we need a beat, so we're gonna create one more track, and that is pretty straightforward as well. You go down here to Band Lab Sounds, bottom right portion of the screen, click on Band Lab Sounds, we're gonna click on a loop. We're gonna find a loop that we like. Instrument, I want a beat, so I'm gonna click Beats. Genre, let's roll with Hip Hop Trap. And then we're gonna go down to, I'm gonna choose Audrey Groove 13. I like that. So to create the track, you'll simply hover over the, over the beat that you want, left click, hold, drag it over here under the first track, and boom. Track number two is automatically created. Now let's go to step two, how to arm a track for recording. Arming a track is a fancy way of enabling a track, right? You have to tell the DAW where you want the sound to go for the recording. And doing that in Band Lab is real easy. You just go to the track that you want to record to, and you click it. Now it's telling BandLab where you want that sound to go when you hit record. And one last thing, just make sure the right microphone is chosen. BandLab does a good job at detecting, but sometimes you gotta go down here and check it. Yeah, they've already detected my microphone, so we're good to go there. And now it's time to record. Once you hit the record button, BandLab will give you a brief countdown before the microphone actually goes live. So wait for that four count. Microphone check, mica, microphone check, microphone check, mica, a microphone check, microphone check, mica, microphone check. And to stop your recording, you just hit that record button again. Let's check out what we got. Microphone check, mica, microphone check, microphone check, mica, a microphone check. Let's add an effect to the vocals. Do that by going down here to the bottom left. You hit effects, add effect. I'm gonna go ahead and roll with a delay. Boom. Automatically added. Check, mic up, a microphone check, microphone check, mic up, microphone check. All right, I'm happy with that, which brings us to step three, how to save your recording. First things first, let's name the project. And then go on over here, save. Boom, and band level lets you know the last time you saved your project. And now we can share our amazing recording for the entire world to check out. You'll see a big green publish button at the upper right hand portion of your DAW. Hit that, add a description. 
Pick your genre. No explicit content here. You can opt to keep it unlisted, much like you would with a YouTube video. And under advanced settings is my favorite feature, mastering. Be sure to check out the description of this video for some very helpful links on mastering. For now, I'm just gonna click on manual and think of the publish button here as your share button like you would on any other social media site. Now that your song's published, it appears on your newsfeed. And anyone that comes across your page now has the opportunity to push play. Microphone check, mic up, microphone check, microphone check, mic up, microphone check. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, because next time we're going to be talking about cakewalk and sampling a little bit more, part of our Principles of Audio series. And let us know if we miss anything in the band lab video. Make sure you leave a comment.